Now the first part of this video is about a livestock farmer. We are speaking about a man whose name is Mr. Rowe in Kingston. Based upon the video, it looked like it was taken in Kingston. And people, whenever I do a video, there is always an underlying message. There is always a moral. There is always a motive. There is always a message to the madness. And people, this video shows caring. This video shows that a human being can be very caring to even an animal. And it shows that... It seems like this man is more caring to an animal than the average Jamaican is to each other. So anyways, people, just based on the views or the era that this video is taking, it looks like somewhere in Kingston. And it looks like this herder, we are speaking about this livestock farmer, we are speaking about this goat herder. He is taking his goats to greener pastures so them can eat and then he is taking them back to the farm, Rete and Lele, vice versa. So it seems like when he was taking them back and forth, it seems like the rope that was tied around the neck of one of the goats got caught on some other goats and basically almost strangled them. And people, what was more shocking, what was more startling, what was more amazing is that it seemed like when the goat was strangling, it seemed like he was gasping for his breath. It seemed like he almost died. People, we saw this man give the goat CPR. People, we are talking about cardiopulmonary resuscitation to a goat. People, we are talking about amazing only in Jamaica. And anybody that is viewing this video that is a veterinarian or a goat doctor or whatever they call it, let me know if I have the terms correctly. So anyways, people, take a listen, take a look at the video, and then I'll give my review at the end. Watch out on it, hold on it, hold on it. Come to him. No, that's okay. Oh. 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 Yeah, 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 Mr. Rowe. Yes, Mr. Rowe, you're not easy. You're not easy. <laughs> People, this video is called Welcome to Jamrock. This video is called Only in Jamrock. Now, what we just witnessed is something spectacular. What we just witnessed is something about caring. And people, the truth and the fact is that some man not even putting their mouth on their girl. They are not kissing their own girl. And the truth and the fact is that I can swear that at least 99.99% .99 of Jamaicans, if they saw a next human being on the street gasping for breath and needed CPR, they would turn a blind eye. So the message or the moral of the story is that it shows that this man cares more about a dumb animal than most Jamaicans do about each other. And people, don't get it twisted. This could be because of financial reasons, because he is basically protecting his investment. Because if him lose one of the goats, then we are speaking about hundreds of thousands of dollars. But the point is that he showed that he cared because people, he put his pride aside. 
him never had think what people are going to say he was thinking about saving the life of this goat we are speaking about a dumb animal people we need more love we need more caring we need more compassion in this world today point blank and period so at the end of the day this video is about caring this video is about the type of people that jamaicans are we are resilient because remember you know, this man is not a doctor this man is not trained in the medical field but he saw exactly what was going on and just based upon him instincts he knew what he had to do and people like me say we can't see that nowhere else in the world only in jamrock so therefore jamaica is a special place upon this planet point blank and period so anyways people let me know what you think in the comment section and remember it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section so the next thing that we see popping in the news are entertainment in the dance hall spaces that entertainer Yannick the curvy diva is back at it once again one more again and this was all based on a controversial post that she made on her Instagram page where she was basically drinking from a hose and longing out her tongue like a freak and people say that they saw some white substance on it and they say that her tongue looked dirty and rete and lele and she need to brush her tongue and brush her teeth and brush her mouth and rete and lele now people we have to understand the MO of certain artists we have to understand what people do or some artists do to stay relevant to keep people speaking about them they have to pull out the publicity stunt they have to pull for the drama and controversy and rete and lele because the truth and the fact is that if you don't have any hot songs out there you have to do something that is going to draw the people's attention you have to do something that is stunning you have to do something that is off the wall off the chain point blank and period and people don't get it twisted Yanni Curvy Diva is an okay artist she's an average artist she has some talent she's not really a lame artist but the truth and the fact is that based on her history and based on the stunts that she has been pulling off lately we see that she is going for the publicity stunt point blank and period we see that she is trying to be controversial we see that she needs her name out there because that is how she's going to get her bookings that is how she's going to make her money that is how she's going to have people speaking about her because like me say, if there is no hot song if there is no hit song then you are going to be mrs irrelevant and that is the status of yannick curvy diva right now because the truth and the fact is that this controversy this publicity stunt it is not sustainable unless you can find a hit so therefore after you do one you're going to have to do a next one over and over and over it is going to be a revolving door of controversy and drama point blank and period and we have to also remember that it was just at the Pride concert the other day in Kingston that she caused some controversy when she basically took off our drawers, she took off our Victoria's Secret pan stage and people like we say that was also another controversy that was also a next publicity stunt because like me say if you don't have the hot song you are not sustainable, you are not relevant, you are irrelevant so we saw that she got a bashing because first thing first she took booking from some fishy people and people when we talk about the pride we know that we are talking about the shibada type we are talking about the fishy type we are speaking about people that go against the grain of the dancehall culture or of the Jamaican culture. So therefore when you do something like that it is only going to be shocking because it is not the norm. And people don't get it twisted or misconstrued people are free to do whatever they so choose to do however when you do something that is against the grain of the culture of dancehall and jamaica people are always going to talk tongues are always going to be wagging and that is exactly the response that yannick the curvy diva wants she wants attention she is an attention seeking person point blank and period so anyways people like i've always said it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up